Okay, so I'm finally doing it. I, I've been asked this hundreds of times probably. I've promised it dozens of times and I still haven't gotten around to doing it. Well, I'm doing it now. I'm doing it right now, but I need a favor from you guys. I need you not to give me a hard time about the state of my office. It's terrifying to look at, to say the least. It's horrible, it's awful, but you know what? You guys have asked me for this video so many times, I get so many comments, I get so many emails, I get so many messages. You guys wanna know how I go about taking the pictures. You wanna know about how I get the quality out of my pictures that I do. You wanna know about my backgrounds. You wanna know about um, if I use mannequins, uh, how I flat lay, what lights I use, what cameras I use, uh, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to tell you everything that I do and uh, Hopefully it helps, and hopefully you can ignore my mess. Let's start with lights. Ah, lights. So I simply use two umbrella lights. You can't really just use one because your lighting will be really, really shadowed. You do need two. Luckily, the kind that I use are not expensive. There are some really fancy, expensive lighting setups out there. Um, I say fancy and expensive. They're probably like a little over a hundred bucks or something. Um, they're not umbrella lights. They're the big, um, like the cone lights and things like that. I don't use those. Um, I did use those once at a big studio, but since I'm not photographing in a big studio, umbrella lights work just fine. The ones that I use, let me see if I can, I can loosen this here and show you which one it is. Okay. So the ones that I use, woo, the ones that I use are <laughs> Limo Studio, Limo Studio, however you want to call it. They are very inexpensive you can get uh, a set of two lights with a bonus third desk light, which is just a smaller version of these that's small enough to sit on a desk so that when you photograph things on like tabletop, um, you don't have this giant lighting system. And I'm trying to get this back in here and of course it's not going. There we go. Um, so it's actually three different lights. It, they come with the they come with the stand, they come with the light bulb, and they come with the umbrella. And the best part is they're already put together. They're already put together. All you gotta do is like finagle the thingy, stick the umbrella in, screw on the lighting system, and boom, you're done. It's really easy. Um, but that whole set is only like 55 bucks. So it's a really great investment. The light bulbs seem to last a really long time. I haven't had to change them and it's been about six months now. So that's really great. And I believe they are 600 watts. Um, and the ones that I have are just the ones that came with the lights. So I love them. They work perfectly well. So those are the lights that I use. Unfortunately, I don't have my camera. My camera is with my assistant. It is a Canon, and I can't think of what the model is off the top of my head, but it is uh, wireless so that you can transfer pictures to your computer or to uh, Dropbox or wherever. Um, I did put a link to that camera in the video description, so if you wanna go check out what kind of camera I use, uh, for all of my pictures on eBay, my all the majority of my pictures on eBay, there's a link to that in the video description. Um, if I'm not using that, I either use my third generation iPad, uh, which I don't use very much, but I do use it, um, or my Galaxy uh, S7 Edge I use for pictures, or... the dreaded Galaxy Note 7. Yes, I still have my Note 7. Um, they recalled them, of course, but they never picked mine up, so I still have it. I keep it off most of the time, uh, but I do still use it for listing. Whoops. I just uh, use it on Wi-Fi. You know, lots of people I've heard use iPhones for... Uh, 
for listing and they just have it on Wi-Fi. They don't even have it hooked up to service. I do the same thing with my Note 7. It's also really nice because the screen is really big and it does have the um, stylus. So I really like the Note 7. I was really, really sad when they recalled them. But um, so I do use this for pictures as well. So now that I showed you the lights and what kind of cameras I use, I will show you the different ways that I take pictures next. Not doing anything. Just hanging up some jeans. So now the background that I use, I don't use one of those like giant racks and roll it up. I just have it pinned to my office wall. You can see I just use thumbtacks. I just use thumbtacks. And so I have that against my wall and I don't roll it up. It's just up there all the time. Then for hanging the items, I do just have a hook screwed into the wall. Um, I do have it going through the background, but it's up so high on the background. See, it's up there near the top. This background is five feet across and seven feet tall. So it's up right near the top. So if it gets a little damaged, you'll see here, I had to kind of move it over a couple of times, but you really don't notice that because I'm not really photographing anything up here. I'm photographing down here. So you notice you don't even see where the holes and the hook are. You just see from here. That's where the picture would be taken. So that is um, how I go about hanging things on the background. I used to use a hanging mannequin. Um, I have a set of three. I am not going to say that I dislike them because it's not that I dislike them. Um, I used to have these. I actually bought these off eBay and I will put the link to the seller that I bought these from because I got a really good deal. At least I feel like I got a really good deal. It's a set of three and what it is is they're just all going to fall down. It's the men's torso, the woman's torso, and children's. And what's really awesome about these is they nestle into themselves. So when you go to hang them up and put them away, they don't take up a whole lot of space. They're really nestled in together. So nestling in together like this, all three of them are in there. When they're nestled away, it's less storage. I don't have them hanging in a closet. I just have them in the corner of my office. Um, but those were the kind of mannequins I was using. I stopped using them because I felt like it was taking too much time to dress and undress. If you don't deal with so much volume and maybe you're only listing a few things a day, I'm sorry, my dogs are barking. I think the mailman's here. Um, if you're only listing a few things a day, then dressing a mannequin might not be that big of a deal. But me, I am moving quantity. So dressing a mannequin every day over and over and over and over again wasn't working for me. Um, while I was using those, you'd notice that they were hanging, right? Well, I had to use this thing here. This is just, yeah, now it's holding purses, but it's just a standalone, it's just a standalone rack. And I would just hang the, um, hang the torsos down from it. And the thing is, that whole bar and everything is there, but once it's hanging and it's closed, you don't really see the bar. So that wasn't, seeing this big rack wasn't really a problem. Um, and I got that off Amazon too for like $30 or something like that. It was pretty standard. Um, so I no longer use mannequins, but while I was using mannequins or if I need to use mannequins, I do have them and those are the kinds that I have. Okay, so now I'm ready to take a picture on this background. What I do is I have not one, but two umbrella lights. Um, they're not exactly equal distance. Um, the, way, the way the space is, I don't really need to have them equal distance. The light is just fine. Um, I have them kind of off a little bit, mainly because of uh, my outlets. I only have one extension cord and I'm choosing to use it on the one that I think needs to be closer. 
Um, but the one thing that you need to make sure that you do, first of all, don't use a flash. Don't use a flash. These umbrella lights are going to provide enough light. You do not need a flash, okay? But the thing you need to make sure you do is not stand in front of the lights, okay? Because if you stand in front of the lights, you're going to have a shadow. You don't want a shadow. Always stand back behind the lights, okay? And we're going to zoom in. If you, it doesn't matter if you're using a camera, if you're using a phone, whatever you're using, you don't need a flash. And you just snap. And that's the picture we've got. Hopefully you guys can see it okay. That's the picture we got. Now whenever I do pictures, I will always do one full. And then I'll do one that's a little more zoomed in. Then I'll do... Now, I'm not actually listing these, so I'm just kind of like speeding through these pictures. I actually think these are already listed. And then I would pull these down and I would take a picture of the tag. I usually do five photos for pants and three to four photos for shirts. You know, front, back, tag, and then maybe an up close of the design or something. Um, I do add photos if there's any blemishes, rips, stains, anything like that. You wanna make sure you add pictures of that. But that is how I photograph on the wall. Okay, here is a little bonus info for you guys. So now I know that places like Instagram and um, Poshmark, you usually do pictures in like a one by one square. I have heard a lot of people ask questions about how to fit it inside that square and how frustrated people are that you know you can't get the full garment or the full item in that square that you need an elongated picture. One of the things that you can do to avoid um, cutting off your photo if it's not cut right is right inside your phone you are actually able to um, change the setting of how you photograph. I know on my phone it's this little gear here. I'm sure that iPhones and everything are very very similar. But you hit the little gear, you go to picture size, and then you can actually select a one by one box. Then once you select that, you back out, and you've got a square. So now anything that you photograph is automatically going to be in a square, and it will save you time for cropping later. Very handy to know. Okay, so this is a background that I primarily use uh, for flat laying. Um, I literally just put it on the floor, you guys. Um, it's just a three foot by five foot background. It was only 10 bucks on Amazon. I will put the direct link in the video description if you guys are interested in it. I do love it. It photographs beautifully. But again, all I do, you can see the little stands here. I have both of the umbrella lights set up on either side. And I'm basically just going to do exactly what I did on the wall, but I'm going to do it on the floor. Again, you guys, I mean it. No talking bad about how dirty my office is. I am well aware, but I prefer spending time with my children over cleaning it. So sue me. Okay, so we're flat laying this. Where's, there it is. Okay, so. I am doing literally the exact same thing that I did on the wall. You have to make sure that there is no shadow. Lean out. Then we're gonna do the back side. Now, I am just doing plain flat lays right now, but when I feel the mood, I will use props. If you want to see my uh, prop photos, I do have those up on Poshmark, um, and I do just have 
a, um, I do just have a box. Actually, I'll just bring you right over here. We're going all over my office in this video, you guys. Oh, by the way, you want to see those pictures I took? Okay. So those are the ones on the flat lay. And then the tag. Oh, well now it's upside down. Everything is upside down and backwards. But that's the flat lay, right? Well, over here, you'll see... I have a box just of flowers and little fun cutesy stuff to lay on the backdrop. If you're interested, if you're interested to see what those photos look like, they are over in my Poshmark closet. I do not use um, props with flat lays in eBay just because it takes so long. Um, but with Poshmark, you want to get a little bit more stylish, you want to get a little bit more fun. So my Poshmark closet is where those are if you're interested to see what those look like. So now this right here is my wonderful shipping station. I absolutely love it. It is literally just a workbench and I turned it into my shipping station. So it's so stinking nice, you guys, to have a flat surface that I can stand up and do shipping. And I've got all of my boxes under here. See that you get a little bit. You can see my boxes and my mailers are under there. My scale, my tape, my scissors, everything is here. So, but it's also multi-purpose because I also use this area to photograph things like shoes and uh, smaller hard goods. Um, I will use any kind of background, but just because I already have this out, I'm going to use this one. But what I do, you'll notice I have these giant clips sitting here. These are what I use to hold the background up. That's why these little shipping stations are so stinking cool. Pretty sure I got this from Menards. I think it was like 80 or $90. I'll have to look and see if there's a link because this thing is so cool. I love it. I freaking love it. So, okay. So what I do is I come over here. And I just start pinning. can't even see. So this has a pull-out drawer, which is where I keep like tape and stuff. It's so awesome. And I will just take these, clip it to the drawer, so that way it does not slide down. And there, I have a background for photographing things on tabletop. Okay, so now again, I have one of the umbrella lights. I have the um, I have the open portion coming towards. This is how I choose to do it. There are some people that choose to use this part pointed towards the item. I choose to have the umbrella lights go the other way. Um, that's personal preference. I think it just depends on what you're photographing, but I have one on each side. I have one over here, one over here. Yes, it's all my husband's crap. So, and then we got the background here. And then I need something to photograph. Let's. There's a thing of hairspray! So, let's take a photo, shall we? snap all right and there is our photo isn't it pretty that's what our photo looks like it's nice and bright looks good the background's awesome I didn't have to get on the floor 
Uh, you can get a couple of muslins and kind of like maybe drip it down a little bit or you could use a basic background like this. Um, but that's the third and final way I take pictures. One last tip. I do like to list on my computer. I don't like to list using my phone, but I will take photos with my phone. So what I do like to do is, since I don't have an iPhone, I do have an Android, I love uploading my photos to my Google Drive that's connected to my Gmail. Um, all you do, it's really simple. Just like you would take a picture and share it to Facebook or share it to Instagram, instead you share it to your Drive and then you select your email and then from there you can go into your Gmail account open your drive and all of your photos will be there and that way I can save them to my computer and upload them into my eBay listings easy peasy and I don't have to worry about listing on my phone I don't like listing on my phone I am a computer lister forever Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Again, everything that I talked about, the backgrounds that I use, the lighting that I use, everything is um, in links in the video description. Um, so feel free to go take a look and see if there's any that you like. Um, everything that I pick is always really super affordable because, like I always say, I'm stingy. Um, so anyways, all of the links are in the video description. If you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, I hope you will. And thank you guys again, and I will see you with my next video. Bye!